Boys, ReZero is officially confirmed to come next week. We already knew this was going to happen. But like, you know, this is just full confirmation. They're not going to change the schedule. And we're getting collabs back to back. And <laughs> global just like JP. So yeah. Um, before we hop into this and watch this and, you know, discuss a few things and everything, right? Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Because, you know, like. We quite literally are at 99 subs right now. We are so close to 100 subs. All of you that's been watching me, thank you so much. And turn on that notification bell when you're notified for an upload. And you see here, I'm, I'm here to catch up with Demon Slayer and everything, you know, mobile, like, trying to fix my internet because my internet's having some terrible issues right now. And I was like, ah, I'm gonna look on YouTube for fashion something quick, just see something. Recommended on YouTube. Front page, there's this video, Seven Daily Sins in the Seven Daily Sins official account. Green Cross Ta Cross ReZero, alright? I was like, oh wait, okay, there's the official confirmation video that we've been waiting for, right? Cause it's gonna be coming in what? Um what, three, four, or five days? Yeah, five days from now. So in five days it's gonna be here, this one maintenance is gonna happen and everything and after made its ends, of course, we're going to get ReZero. With all four new resilience and everything. But let's go ahead and hop in this video and watch it real fast, and yeah. I just now realized that it's not detected my desktop audio in OBS. Boys. Boys. Uh... <laughs> Okay, boys, I fixed it. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. was a little bit at the end. Hold on, wait. Hold on. So guaranteed to receive uh, RAM for free. That's this one right here. She is the support slash buffer to unknown units, right? So yeah, she's really, really good. All of them are really, really good, right? So this is confirmed right, to be coming next week. And yeah, um, the note. Saburu, the main protagonist of the anime slash manga slash light novel, is not a unit, by the way. <laughs> the main protagonist is not a unit. It's, uh, it was quite funny when we saw that. But we're, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at the units real fast. Just a quick look through, even though probably everyone's already seen them. But, you know, since this is a video about the research that's come to global, if you somehow haven't seen them yet, I'm going to go ahead and show you them here currently. So if you didn't know about the Razor units, right? So we have we have them all here, right? Amelia, we have Rim, we have Ram, and of course we have Beatrice, right? And they're all like no, none of them are demons like we thought these two might have been. And she's not human, she's unknown, and she's also unknown, right? So they're all four known units, right? Because it's a, a known banner. And they're gonna be building helping to build the unknown team. Especially Ram here. Ram is insane. They're all insanely good, except for like Beatrice. Beatrice is the only one I would consider actual garbage out of all four of them. But the other three are actually insanely good. Especially Amelia, right? So if you don't know what Amelia does. So if you have Red Jericho, Red Jericho has a freeze card, right? And Red Jericho's freeze card freezes from level two and onward, right? But on hers, it freezes level one. But instead of doing damage from rank 1, it does damage from rank 2 and then also activates that secondary freeze effect to when they get unfrozen, they take a certain amount of damage, right? 
that happened it switched around so it freezes to Mark one which is insanely good that uh, having a freeze unit like Amelia in today's current meta that won't actually do kind of garbage is insanely good right and of course our second one is Gother's AoE you know takeaway card right and it's just that is the second best you know takeaway uh, old gauge card in the game it honestly is it's insanely good yeah and then her ultimate it's a uh, it's the one of the best elephants in the game lost vein's ultimate secret te technique it's on her she that that te um ultimate is insanely good it is extremely strong even i mean you might want a couple dupes in her but if you have a lot of amelia cards and use her ult at rank one it's still going to be doing an insane amount of damage right so yeah, and of course her passive, if um, she or she gets attacked twice from the same unit in one turn, all your debuffs and every single ally gets removed, and then that specific unit that attacks you gets frozen, right? So, King, um, if you use two Hendrickson cards, because <laughs> Hendrickson's AoE, two, uh, yeah. King, your all your debuffs going to get removed and Hendrickson's going to frozen. She's a really good team against Festival King. She's really good. She can be really good against any team because a lot of people will sometimes actually players. I've seen this happen with actual players will forget about her passive by complete accident because they have a strategy going on and then they get frozen because of it, right? So yeah, she's insanely good. And then of course you have the second one, uh, you know, which is Rim. Rim is an amplify unit. She has a passive. Kind of like mice except that with her you need to move or the move or rank up and along with that gain ultimate gauge at the same time right so if you just use a rank up card to rank her up unlike my she won't get any buffs but if you combine cards or use cards when you don't have five alt gauge she will get a buff that increases her attack related stats by five percent for three turns it's a maximum of five times right but if she does get max ult gauge, she recovers 30% of her max HP, and this can happen multiple different times, right? So it's insanely good. And of course, she's a single target amplify card, and then she has a secondary, that's a, a second card, that's an AoE, and it decreases ultimate move damage, right? Which is already insanely good for how many like really strong ult units we have. We have Assault Meliodas, we have Merlin, we have the one Escanor, Gother is also insanely good. You know, we have so many of these really strong ults, and you know, just decreasing the ult mode damage is just good, right? And of course, she has a Shatter AoE. So if you know Fairy, the small wing king, the fairy king, right? The original one, the blue and the green one and the red one. You know, w without their outdated stats, they do insane amounts of damage with their ult because their ult is Shatter and it's AoE. Hers is the same ult, and it's just insanely strong and hits everyone, right? And then, of course, you have Ram. Her first card is a Goddess of the Stun card. <laughs> Her second card is a Rupture AoE card, which is really good because, you know, Goddess of the Liz is one of the big units and everything. So if you know Leduciel, you use Leduciel. His Rupture card usually can destroy a Goddess of the Shield insanely easily, right? Of course, she also has an ult that's AoE, right? But it also decreases attack-related stats. By 30% for 3 turns, it's insanely good. And of course you have her passive that increases all unknown allies basic stats by 20%. And it works in the back, unlike Sario who is required to be in the battlefield, right? So uh, she's just insanely good. You'll see teams like... you'll um, The teams you'll see is like with her. Um, you have her in the back, you'll have Amelia, and then you have Red Gother, and then you're going to have Lolly Merlin. It's an insane team, it's really really good. Like, uh, the top 100, like, the top three players were all using the same exact team on JP. Like, it's it's an insanely strong team. And then you got Beatrice. Um, her first card is a single target, and it life steals a lot of the damage, right? 40%, 60%, and then 100%. And then, of course, you have an AoE Despair card that if she crits, you know, Despair, if she crits, she heals, right? And then she has an ultimate that's AoE, and it's just the same as this. It's basically level 3 of this, except it only life steals 30% of the damage, right? And then she has a passive that increases her health-related stats by 5% for 
for each unknown type ally in battle. She also recovers HP of all unknown type allies by 60% of the amount that she recovers when using skills. Which is why you know these two combining is insanely good, right? So yeah, that's uh, that's all for the units. And that's the video that they released talking about the uh, show in the cloud and everything, right? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!